We're in the kitchen. We're gonna do some rye grain. We're gonna need jars, funnels, rye grain, a little bit of sawdust, get some hot water, get the rye grain into it, cook the rye grain and hydrate it fully. Put this sort of eyeball in it. While you're cooking it, it's gonna swell up. Keep it moving so it doesn't stick to the bottom. Once it starts simmering again, you wanna cook it for about 10 minutes. Our rye grain's nicely cooked. We let it simmer for 10 minutes. Lots of people like to let it air out. We're not gonna do that because we're gonna lose some of that precious heat that we want. So put that in, give it a mix around. We can just chuck it straight in our bags and containers and get it sterilized. Don't overfill your jar. About two thirds full, that's heaps. Injection port bags, people like to use these because you can inject your culture into your bag once it's made. All right, they're all loaded up. We've left a bit of room in each jar to make sure we can do grain to grain transfers. Make sure you don't do up your jars too tight because the air needs to be able to escape when you're sterilizing. We've got our Presto and All American canners. They cook at 15 PSI, so they cook hot enough to sterilize our substrate. Two hours at 15 PSI, we should get them sterilized well enough to spawn. 